Making certificate film! It's a laugh. Yeah, we're men behaving badly. What makes you think showing my kids strong violence and scenes of a sexual flip in nature is a responsible thing to do? You're the one who wants him to know about the birds and the bees. So I'm trying to protect him all the time. Maybe if you trust him a bit more, he might tell you stuff. Yeah, and then you won't have to go snooping through my drawers. How many have you had? Two or three. Yeah, and the rest. So? So you're supposed to be looking after him. And I have. What's your problem? The problem is I've just a little bit of responsibility from you. Obviously too much to ask. Kyla! You bed. You can get on my flat. <gasps> this is what happens to guys when they try to help out. Sad, but true. It's just you and me again. Cheers, Mum. Nice one. And for information, Harry's short for Harry. <sighs> I'm sorry about before. I just can't stand to see you getting yourself all hat on me. It's like when you were a kid. Mum. Made a decision. I can't do this anymore. Right then. So, you're striking out on your own. Now. Stop laughing at me. That isn't what I meant. Sorry. It's you. I don't want to work with you. I can't. Not anymore. You don't think it's strange. You don't think it's at all. We're, we're a team. A team's a partnership, Malcolm. You don't want me to be a partner. You never have. Now, listen here. I've only ever looked out for you. Protected you. Protecting me from what, Mal? What is any protecting from? Myself? Listen to you. You think I was about to let you go in there? They're defeating you alive. Oh, lad, I'm sorry. Mal, I'm not your lad. I never was. You can't pretend anymore, can you? You can't pretend it's not real. The answer's back. <coughs> but you've heard it, Pam. That's the sound. The big cancer's back. <laughs> That doesn't sound very good to me. <laughs> Everything's looking good. And the drainage is fine. You're a lifesaver, Doc. Well, if ever I need a decent cleaner, I'll know where to come. It's tough luck about the contract, eh? I can go over losing a contract. Not my brother. Nice speech, Mr. Jordan. I'll survive. Really? He'll be all right, Walter. He'll be fine. Humiliated me. I think you've said enough. See what? Yeah. <laughs>
You do not want me as an enemy. You shouldn't be on your own. If you let me, I can take care of you, Trisha. I thought I'd start by buying us a bottle of champagne. Now, celebrate life. Every last daft drop. Diane Lloyd lost her job because of him. Oh, mate, Diane left. Okay, she wasn't fired. Maybe it was time for a change. She was forced out. Nick Jordan's the one who should have gone. Yes, but there's more than one way she's going to count. Holby City on BBC One next Tuesday at 8. And to watch an exclusive video preview of next week's episode, log on to bbc.co.uk slash Holby City. On BBC Three, unhealthy living, it can't go on. Honey, we're killing the kids.